today I'm making pan de lote. Again. I picked up this lidded cast iron pot in Mexico last month and I've been dying to try it out. Pan de lote is a lightly sweetened cake made with corn, popular in Nuevo León, Mexico where my family's from. I made some pan de lote from scratch last year, but had some issues with the cast iron I used and ended up baking it instead. Today we're going to use this new pot and spice things up with a much easier recipe. You can turn on subtitles by pressing the CC button or check out the full list of ingredients in the video description. For this corny confection we're going to need 1 cup of pancake mix, an optional 2 tablespoons of chopped pecans, a quarter cup of sugar, 2 tablespoons of oil, 1 and a half cups of corn, and use whatever you have, fresh, canned, frozen, it's all the same. 2 tablespoons of butter, melted, and about a quarter cup of water. And now we're going to pour a quarter cup of water into the blender. I'm starting with water to try and keep the dry ingredients from clumping at the bottom. Now add in the pancake mix and avoid the pancake cloud if possible. Follow this with some sweetening crystals and blend, blend, blend. Keep going until everything is decently mixed. We're really just making a thick dough like batter. Now let's dump in about half the corn and blend it in. Dump in the other half of the popcorn seeds and pulse a few times. This will help preserve a little bit of the corn texture and finished cake. If your blender's struggling with the thickness, just mix the corn into the batter a little bit to help it out. And optionally, mix in some chopped nuts for extra texture. Now comes the fun part. I've preheated my pot over medium low heat for about 3 minutes. You just want it warm enough to melt butter, but not hot enough to burn it. And on another stove burner, I've preheated the lid over high heat. Now over medium heat, add a tablespoon of oil to the pot. This should help keep the butter from burning. Speaking of which, add the butter in. Now I'm going to mix this around, making sure to lubricate the walls of the pot to avoid any sticking. Pour in that thick batter. Any second now. There we go. Just spread it out gently. Now cover it up with a hot lid. This will help bake the cake from the top too. About 7 minutes later the bottom should be nicely brown and no longer liquid. I'm running an offset spatula around the sides to make sure it's loose and carefully flipping the cake onto a plate. Add another bit of oil if needed. There was still some in the bottom so I only added another half tablespoon or so. Slide the cake back in with the cooked side up and cover it back up for another 3 minutes or so. You can check with the toothpick to make sure it's cooked through and flip it back onto a plate to serve. I am so happy with how this came out. Oh man that looks so good. This is actually my third attempt. Lightly brown and crispy on the outside and soft and moist on the inside. Perfect. My previous attempts did not come out as pretty. I was trying to keep the cooking method as traditional as possible. They preheat the pot and lid over the fire, add the butter and batter, cover, then even add hot embers on top of the lid. But this was just getting everything way too hot and completely burning in the bottom. Keeping the pot at a lower temperature and really heating up the lid helped to slowly cook the bottom without burning. If you don't have a lidded cast iron pot, I'll leave a link in the description for a similar pot, but you can also bake this like a regular cake. Just grease and flour a baking pan, add the batter, and bake at 375 for 45 minutes. You can eat it cold or warm, plain, enjoy a piece with some coffee, or the way I like to have it, warm, covered in cajeta or caramel, nuts, and served with vanilla ice cream. It looks incredible. I love the caramelized bits on the crust and it just smells so good. You can really smell the sweet corn and the caramelization. Oh man, this is so good. Just like the pan de lote in Mexico. It's just such an awesome mix of flavors and textures with the bits of corn and added nuts. The corn flavor really comes through and it's just so nostalgic for me. You might think it's just a thick pancake with a couple of ingredients added in, but it's really transformed into so much more, making it such a versatile treat packed full of flavor. Using the pancake mix like some shops in Mexico do was a great way to achieve the same great taste with less effort. Whether you have a cast iron pot and can follow this cooking method, or you want to try baking it, or even making pancakes or waffles out of the batter, I highly recommend you try pan de lote. If you make some, I'd love to see it. Share a picture on Instagram and tag me at Michael with 4 H's. If you liked the video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you'd like to watch another one, you can click the card over on the right. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you around. And I hope to see you all next Thursday.